When he saw the top of the sail on fire due to the thunderbolt, Vandiyadeva was sure that he would not be able to escape from the darkness. Therefore, he cannot escape alive. Even then Vandiyathevan was not upset at all. He was excited and laughed very cheerfully. He untied the rope that tied him to the sail. Shouldn't you burn to death in the middle of the sea? Isn't it better to dive into the cold water and die peacefully under the sea? Vandiyathevan did not want to waste the little time left in his life. He wanted to take a good look around in the light of the burning ship and enjoy the beauty of the turbulent sea. Is it not good to take good care of the place where one's body is going to rest? Would you say that people who die prematurely like this will visit the place of death in spirit form? Amathiri's spirit is also hovering above this ocean. Can it float in the air? Surfing above the waves? Does the whirlwind blow its spirit around? Ah! Once in a while, the princess will go to the sea, even if the ship is boarded. The sailors driving the ship said, This is the place full of Vandiyathevan's ship. They will show that. Tears welling up in her eyes and falling in pearls on her full face, if he happened to see it up close in spirit form, would he be able to wipe away her tears? The ship climbed over the crest of a storm. By the light cast by the sail light the distance was visible all around. Only where the light of the sail fire fell on the sea water, which had acquired the color of black marble, was a flood of gold. Before Vandiyathevan was overjoyed at the wonder of this beauty, something else caught his eye and attention. In the distance he saw a grove of trees. He saw the tiger flag flying in it. God! Your quirks seem to know no bounds. The one who comes in that tree must be Prince Arulmas Hivarmar. He comes looking for himself, said his intuition. Parthibendra's ship was also caught in the same whirlwind in which Vandiyathevan's ship got stuck and swayed. But this ship had sailors who knew the nature of the winds and were skilled in the art of sailing. They lowered the mats spread on the sails and put them around. They used to hold the rudder of the ship so that it was not necessary for the ship to stand against the full speed of the wind. One minute the ship would seem to be pitching, here it is overturned, the next moment he manages to stand upright. No matter how many mountain-like waves hit the ship, the timbers and planks attached to it would split. Not available at all. Samathirarajan tossed the ship like a ball. The whirlwind tossed and tossed the ship like a whirlwind. Floods poured down from the sky and drowned the ship in the sea. A ship built by the master carpenters of Cholanadu, a ship propelled by the famous sailors of Tamil Nadu, was battered by the sea, rain and wind. I have seen and weathered worse whirlwinds and storms than this. So there is no need to worry. Kalapati said. But he confided to Parthibendra and the prince his fear of another danger. Black clouds have gathered and covered the sky and made it dark on all sides. To make matters worse, it rained heavily. The waves of the sea covered the ship like a series of mountain ranges. At this stage, the ship they were looking for could not be seen, even if it came very recently, and that ship would also be spinning around and tossing like this. If the ships collide with each other, both will become entangled. Woe to those on board! So the risk of not being able to see anything around is greater than the risk of a whirlwind, said the forest leader. This was a matter known to the prince. So he stood by the side of the ship in all the wind and rain, casting his sharp eyes on all sides. Whenever the lightning flashed, his eyes darted around and scanned the surroundings. It was impossible to tell how his soul was reeling. The messenger who had sent his beloved son was caught by rogue Arabs and murderous sorcerers. As if that was not enough, this whirlwind arrived elsewhere. Perhaps the heroic youth will not be able to find the ship he boarded? Even if found, is it possible to find him alive? As Kalapati fears, it would be funny if our ship collided with the ship he was on and both sank into the sea. But who will tell the father the message? It was impossible to tell the family secret to Parthipendra. It would have been ridiculous for the Pallava to say, he will not realize its importance. So far the prince has never failed in anything he set out to do. Will it fail now? No, not a day. Samadra Rajan will not see Pani's riches being harmed or defeated. The prince, 
who was looking in all directions through the darkness and the rain, heard the thunderclap. Then he also had to close his eyes a little because of the lightning. When he opened his eyes, he saw another light without lightning. In the distance a ship swayed like a ghost with its sails outstretched. At the top of its sails a fire blazed. By the light of the fire the prince saw a man standing in it with a sail. God! Can such a miracle happen? He is that heroic youth Van Die the Van. Why is he standing alone? What happened to the others? Now is not the time to think about it. In a split second the prince decided what to do. What he saw was witnessed by many others on board. There. That was the loud shout they raised in unison, defying the terrible sound of the wind. The prince stood on the boat that had been tied alongside the ship, and looking at the sailors standing nearby, he asked, Which of you will come with me? He asked in a loud voice. The sailors were astonished to guess what he intended to do. However, many came forward to compete. Parthipendra and Kalapati came and tried to stop it. Prince! What is this matter? How can a boat be steered in this stormy sea? How can a person in a burning ship be saved? But let us try and see that we should not go. There are so many of us to go, said Parthipendra. Beware! I will never forgive those who try to stop me now, said the prince in a majestic posture of authority. At the same time he untied the boat. Two of you are enough, come on! said. The boat landed in the sea. Prince, the two he mentioned jumped at it. The next moment the boat drifted away from the ship. A passion danced on the waves. The prince and the other two struggled with their oars. Little by little the boat approached the burning ship. By this time the fire had descended from the top to half the mast. But Vandiyadeva was standing there. He saw the ship by the light of the fire, he also saw the boat being unloaded from the ship. He had forgotten himself in that wonder. He didn't feel like he had to do anything. Jump into the ocean! cried the prince. It did not fall on his ear. He was standing like an idle old man. Became, a little more delay would have brought the fire to the bottom of the ship, the ship will sink. Then it becomes impossible to save him. Again the prince decided in an instant what to do. For such occasions he tied the other end of the long rope which was attached to the danger boat around his waist. He warned the two sailors and jumped into the sea. The waves, which had played with the boat all this time, now played with the prince. For a moment he was raised to heaven, another moment pushed into the underworld. However, the prince was speeding towards the burning ship without fail. A huge, huge wave came. If it had fallen on top of the prince it might have crushed him and taken him to the bottom of the sea. But it was a good tide, he came to the prince. It lifted him up and threw him on the upper deck of the burning ship. When Van Diathevan, who was already untying the bandage, saw the prince, shouted awe and jumped down to pick him up. The prince held his neck tightly. He whispered in his ear, Hold me. Don't let go. Said. The moment they finished speaking, both of them floated in the sea again and were gathered by the waves. The sailors stopped pushing the oars and pulled the rope. The prince and Vandiyadeva, who was holding him like an iguana, approached the boat. Holding a boat and boarding it is not an easy task. Every moment of struggling with the waves and trying to get into the boat carrying Vandiyadeva was an age. Behold, the boat is caught in the hand, the next moment will be out of reach. Finally, a big wave helped it too. They also woke up with the wave that rose high near the boat. They jumped into the boat with the help of sailors. Pull the oar. Pull fast. Said the prince. Because the burning ship was nearing the end of the sea. Even if the boat capsizes in the turbulence that occurs during such a dive, it will capsize. Not only that, if the ship is completely engulfed in flames, it may be impossible for them to catch another ship later. Aha! A do ship has started full. What a terrible beauty it was to see her at sea with her sails ablaze. They could not enjoy it for long. Just as the prince had expected, there was a great storm in the sea. 
waves surmounted by skyscrapers. The boat tackled some waves. But when the burning ship sank, the other ship was lost in the surrounding darkness. Direction is unknown. There is no way to know whether the boat and the ship are approaching or moving away from each other. Both have risks. If you approach a ship without knowing where it is in the dark and bump into it, the boat will shatter. If it goes away, I ask. What can that little boat do in the middle of the ocean? King of the ocean. You have to save the rich wealth given by your girlfriend Pani Nadi. The Leelas of Lord Vayu are very miraculous. As quickly as that great whirlwind came, it went away. On the way, it left the sea in ruins. It is true that the whirlwind is gone, but because of this, the turbulence in the sea is not contained in Ilesil. Even if it lasted for a night and a day. The speed of the turbulence will cover the wide sandy area along the long traveling coast. The waves hit Nagapatanam Beach and destroy it. Still the turbulence will spread up to Kangisanthure, Trigana Hill. One hand can see even Matadam and Ramsura. The boat in which the prince and others were on board was being completely washed away by the waves. For a while, the pain in the paddle also stopped. When you don't know the direction, when you don't know where the ship is, what is the pain of the oar? The wind is still, the rain has stopped, the thunder and lightning stopped. But the momentum of the waves was not abetted. The boat kept rocking in the waves. An unexpected danger was approaching him. Here it comes. Burnt ship is not full. Then a sail, which was not fully lit, separated from it. It floated in the sea and came close to the boat. No one saw it until recently because of the darkness. As soon as he saw it, he shouted, Paddle! Paddle! cried the prince. Before he could gag, the sail slammed into the bottom of the boat. The boat split into a badar at the speed of the crash. First it was divided into two parts. Then the board split into small pieces and scattered. Friend! Fear not! That sail is stronger than this boat. Jump and grab it! said the prince. 